Dear all, welcome to this super short guide dedicated to Camtasia, one of the best tools you can use to record and edit your videos for both Windows and Mac. In just 12 minutes, we're going to see all the features and tools you need to know to start using it. When opening Camtasia, the new home dialog opens with several options on the left, such as Get Started, To Start Working, or Learn, and Resources to get additional tips and tutorials on how to use Camtasia. On Get Started, you can start from a new video project or from any ready template that you can download from the official TechSmith library. You can also open an existing Camtasia project or go for a new recording. Let's start from a new project. The main interface is very simple with several features on the left, the project timeline at the bottom, and the main preview on the center. You can import your own videos, pictures, and audio files by dragging and dropping these into the timeline directly. You can find other visual and audio samples from the library section as well. All these files will be listed under the Media Bin panel and represented on the timeline as blocks within rows called tracks. Each block shows the file name, a simple thumbnail, and the complete audio waveform through time. You can check these better by zooming in and out with the horizontal sidebar above the timeline itself. Use the Record button in the top left corner to start recording. At this point, choose what to record, such as your desktop screen, webcam, your microphone, and your system audio by turning on or off their respective buttons. You can click at the bottom to change the source to use and adjust the volume level of your microphone with its dedicated bar. When recording your screen, you can go in full screen mode, pick any standard HD resolution, or any template for social media. Choose Custom to set your own region by clicking and dragging on the screen, moving and resizing it as you need. You can also check and adjust its size precisely. When you are ready, use the Record button. Then you can pause the recording, delete it, or use the Minus button to minimize the dialog box if you don't need it. Whereas, use the Stop button to save the recording and come back to the main editor. You can find it under the Media Bin panel as a .trek file, ready to be imported as done with other files. This .trek file can't load in online or played directly. You must render it first, as we will see later in this video. It includes one clip for the webcam recording and another for the screen recording. Use the preview to play back and check your project in progress, following the main marker at the bottom. You can click and drag on the timeline to place it and check different sections of your project in no time. If multiple media overlap in time, the clip placed in the top track is always shown in front of all the other clips lower in position. The preview resolution and frame rate options are set on File, Project Settings. Make sure that the preview resolution or canvas matches your files or you get black bars or cropped media clips if not adjusted. On the left side, you have quick buttons to manage the content on an entire track. Use the I button to disable or enable the track content the Magnet button to remove any time gap between clips automatically, and the Lock button to block any modification made on such track. Now let's see how to edit and adjust media. You can click and drag any clip to move it in time or in another track. You can also separate audio from video frames by right-clicking on these. To cut, copy, paste, or delete any clip, just right-click on it. Whereas to split any clip, click on it to select it, 
place the marker at the correct time position, and use the S key or Command and T on Mac. Remember to use the Undo and the Redo buttons on the extreme left to undo and redo your actions in the same order. To adjust any clip length, click and drag from its edges. This cuts part of the content from videos and audio files as well. To avoid this, you can right-click on the clip and go to Add Clip Speed to change its playback speed in order to edit its length without cutting any content. Just drag from the watch icons, stretching the clip to make it slower and shortening it to make it faster. To perform adjustment on clips, open the Properties panel on the right. This shows all the visual, audio, and graphic properties depending on the kind of clip selected. You can set size, opacity level, inclination, and position of any visual clip using the bars or typing precise values on these. You can reset all with the revert buttons on the right. You can also act on the preview directly, clicking and dragging the clip to place it or using its nodes to resize it. You can also enable the crop button on top to crop the clip from its blue contour. On audio files, you can adjust the overall volume level or act directly on its green envelope curve. In this case, you can also double-click on it to add points and change the volume level in time as you like most. Now let's see the most important features on the left side. From annotations, you can drag and drop on the preview colored callouts, arrows, shapes, and pieces of text over media clips. Each of these creates a clip that can be moved and edited on the timeline and on the preview as seen. Moreover, you can open the Properties panel to adjust the text font, style, color, and alignment, and also the appearance and color of bubbles, shapes, and arrows as you like most. Under Transitions, you find loads of transitions that you can drop on the edges of any clip or between two clips to go from the first to the second one with a very great effect. You can select the transition and adjust its length to correct its speed if needed. On Behaviors, you find special effects you can apply to any clip especially to text and annotations. These add behaviors properties that you can adjust while introducing, in, animating, during, or ending out the text clip. With animations, you can add motion animations from a starting point to an ending point. You can place it anywhere on the clip in time and select the ending point to adjust and customize the final destination for such motion on the Properties panel. To remove the animation, just right-click on it and go to Delete. With Zoom and Pan, you can apply Zoom and Pan animations on all the clips by moving and scaling the rectangle as needed. This can also be applied in Series. From Cursor Effects, you can add great effects to your mouse cursor, such as smoothing its movements or adding effects when left or right clicking. This works on dot .trek recordings made with Camtasia only. In Camtasia 2022, you also have the possibility to customize the cursor movements. On the Cursor Properties, click on Edit Cursor Path to edit the existing path or create a new one. This path is defined by several nodes put together. Drag any node or its handles to customize the path and each curve, setting where the cursor must go.
its speed, and its smoothness from the right panel. You can check the cursor position frame by frame through the green node on the path. Use Finish Editing to apply all. You can find amazing audio and visual effects that you can drag and drop on clips. For example, you can use Remove a Color to remove any color, very useful for green screen, and Motion Blur to make your motions more realistic. You can adjust the effect properties under the standard visual properties for the selected clip. Now let's see how to save and export your project. Use Control or Command and S to save your Camtasia project in order to open and edit it anytime. Whereas, to export your project or recordings in a final video, go to Export in the top right corner. You can choose either to sign in to any social website or go to Local File to render and export your own video. Camtasia 2022 has a new export dialog where you can set the file name, destination, and file type. On advanced settings, set the video resolution up to 4K, frame rate, quality, and audio bit rate. If you are more familiar with the older export method, you can find it on Legacy Local File. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to visit our YouTube channel and our website for more extras and free content.